Yo, uh, what up, everybody? This this evangelist Freddie Lister. I'm with my homeboy Fabs, London rapper right here, man. He uh he got a strong testimony. He's an evangelist now, uh, but he was he came back. He came he came from a thug life, from the gangster life. Just share a bit how God rescued you, bro. Yeah, my life. Jesus Christ changed my life about seven years ago, six seven years ago. You know, I was on a very rocky road. Um, struggling with my identity, not knowing who I was, getting involved in all different kind of things, getting mixed up with the wrong crowd and you know, it, that lifestyle brought me to a place where I was lost, you know, seeking seeking for some sort of meaning to life, seeking seeking purpose, you know, when I only found that purpose when I turned to Jesus Christ, tried different religions, tried going to the mosques, praying to Allah, but it didn't work, you know, I turned to Jesus Christ, the true and living God, and he transformed my life, he changed my life, and here I am, you know, on the streets with my brother, you know, just ready to, to share the gospel, man. Yeah. <laughs> You heard what he said. He went to the mosque. It didn't do nothing. You know why? Because ain't no Holy Ghost in there. Ain't no power of God in there. Well, you know what? I'm repping my Florida right here, 561 today. And, uh, you know, we out here. Why do we do what we do? Is people paying us for this now? Listen, we do this because of love. Because whoo, we love God with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our strengths, with all our minds. And this is why we come out and give up our time to get people saved, healed, and delivered that they may know Jesus, fall in love with them, have Jesus in their lives, one day go to heaven, and glory to God, man. So it's all about love. It starts with that. Love, love, love. And, uh, and you know, you got to be, I just feel led to share a bit on humility. You know, you got to be humble, bro, because the word of God says, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Ain't that right? And um, there's seven things that are an abom abomination to the Lord. And one thing, one of them is a proud look. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're arrogant, you're proud, the devil will bust you up and he'll play with you and he'll laugh at you. So you better be holy as God is holy. A humble person doesn't see, a humble person, all they see is, them, is, uh, is God. They don't see themselves. You understand what I'm saying? You catch that? A humble person doesn't see themselves, all they see is God. So you're about to see some mighty miracles, so stay tuned, glory to God. Hold on, you know what? You want, he said, since he is the London rapper, can I start with a few verses and if spill a little bit and you spit on? All right, hold on. So we flow with Jesus every day, cause he got our back in every day, every way. Ain't no fake games down here, homie, cause we roll with Jesus. Go ahead, bro. I'll edit it. Listen, my God is great. He's undeniable. He's supernatural. He's too big to understand, bro. My God is magical. He's out of this world. I can't comprehend. For the Lord is the King from the beginning until the end, and He's my friend. He never left me to be in sin, even though I'm not worthy of the grace of the King. He's the Most High God. He's the one who is within. He's the I am. The I am. He's the Creator. Hello. Yeah, in London, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Boy Fab and he's up to date with all things. Tell him, tell him what you just told me if we were to speak about homosexuality. Say it, say it. Yeah, I was just saying, Evangelist Freddie uh, here, yeah, in, uh, in the UK. Um, you know, we the laws here is it's very much kind of about polit political correctness and stuff like that. And if you are open air preaching on the streets of London and you say anything that offends somebody, like homosexuality, else, yeah, like if you're speaking about homosexuality, if you speak out against it. So if I say homosexuality is wrong, what happens? You are likely to get arrested and taken into custody and questioned. So if I say homosexuality is wrong according to the Bible, I'm likely to get arrested on the spot. In, in fact, you would get arrested. I would get arrested. You would get arrested. You would, oh! you would, you would probably be warned. You would probably be cautioned. Yeah. And told not to do that. But if you persisted, you would get arrested. So if I say the Bible says all homosexuals uh, shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven, they would arrest me. Most likely. Jesus have mercy. You all in America value your freedom. Yeah, no, it don't matter. Okay, okay, do you believe in God? Yeah, of course. You do? Okay, so you said you have no pain physically? Okay, but you said you have a heart emotionally? Yeah. Okay, watch this. Because God will heal the physical pain, but he also cares about the heart. So, what's your name? TG. TG. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to pray for you, alright? Okay. Alright, close your eyes, TG. I'm scared. <laughs> don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm okay. praying. Relax. Jesus is Jesus is also okay. Father, come Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. We just thank you right now. Oh uh, Lord, we thank you. You love TG, Lord. Holy Spirit, fill her right now. 
You know everything about her life, God. You know everything, Lord. All the pain, everything. She says she's got uh, emotional issues, Lord. Father, I pray that you just go inside her heart right now and just heal that. Heal that. Take away that pain, Holy Spirit. Take away that pain, Lord, in Jesus' name. And let her feel your power and your glory right now. Are you feeling like a warmth or a tingly or lightheaded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. even saying that just made me feel <laughs> like lightheaded a bit. Better, yeah. Okay, tingly. Well, definitely on my shoulder. No, it's actually, I don't know if that was. Okay. Here, come a little closer, Sam, so you can hear us. Come a little closer. Okay, so the tingling, that's the presence of Jesus. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the power of God. You know, because Jesus lives inside of us. Jesus died on the cross and he rose again on the third day and he seated us at the right hand of God. So it's not like some dead religion. It's a real relationship with God. A God who's in love with you and who wants you to know him. So wait, you say God, can it be Muslim? No, 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 no. Way, or? Jesus, this is what Jesus said. Okay, so Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but through me. So Jesus, God became man, Jesus walked amongst us, healed the sick, he said he was God, and he said, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna shed my blood, and then your sins will be forgiven. So the only way our sins can be forgiven is because the blood that Jesus shed. There's no good work that you could do to forgive your sins. Like, I used to do a lot of bad junk. I grew up in the US, I was a drug dealer, I used to fornicate, sleep around, all that stuff. The blood of Jesus came, washed away all my sins, made me clean, and now I'm right with God. Okay, isn't that awesome? And he gives you peace and he just fills you with joy. And the, and the way that I can pray for you, you felt that all over your body. You can pray for others as well when you have Jesus. And they will feel it. So, would you like to say yes to God and yes to Jesus? Yes. It's pretty obvious, right? right? That was nice. That was different. I've never experienced that before. Well, that was the Holy Spirit, you know? Hey, come a little closer. Don't be... <laughs> okay, so your name is TG? Yeah. That's how, okay. You don't want to. No, That's short TG. for. Is that what your mom <laughs> yeah. said? Okay, TG's gonna be her name. Okay, all right, TG. Uh, this time, for real, closer. I just you're talking oh to God. Oh my God, really? <laughs> okay, let me see the time, please. It's gonna be thirty Look, seconds. I'm Watch. Thirty seconds. But this is gonna change your life. Anyway. This is gonna change your. And you're gonna be like, Yo, my life changed. I came to uni. My life changed. Okay. <laughs> this is my last assignment. So pray for my. I just graduate this year. Okay, TG, just relax this time. Right, well, okay, relax. just relax. <laughs> So show me exactly where the pain is in your chest. Mm -hmm. And you said right now it's at a four. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. I'm going to pray, okay? Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you that you love him. What's your name? Johnny. I thank you that you love Johnny. Holy Spirit, come right now. Thank you, Lord. We love you. I commend all the pain to leave his chest right now. In Jesus' name, because Jesus is amazing and Jesus loves him. All pain, leave his chest. Fill him, Holy Spirit, with your power with your love, with your glory, with your anointing. Did you feel like a warmth or a tingly or something like that? Just be honest. I felt weird, to be honest. Like, like lightheaded or something? I felt really relaxed. Yeah. To be honest, it's like, I don't know if it was the touch, if it was the talk. No, it was the, it was the Holy Spirit. You felt the Holy Spirit, like, that's what it does. It's Jesus, the Son of God. Now check your pain and be completely honest. You said it was a four. Check it, move. No, the thing is, is um, it's like a bone. It's not, you know the ribs, yeah? yeah. I have this, this pain for a while because of the movements that I do. Okay. Uh, okay. So and check it now. No, it, like, now I don't feel anything, to be honest. Okay, so before I prayed, you felt the pain at a four. Yeah, uncomfortable, like, uncomfortable. Pain. The sensation. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. you know. And after the prayer, how is it? Go. I don't feel nothing to be honest. So the pain is gone. Yeah, but like it's weird, bro. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. That's Jesus. You had the pain before, and now it's gone. That's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross for us, okay? And he rose again on the third day, and he sits at the right hand of God, okay? And when we accept him, he accepted Jesus. I accepted Jesus. It's a relationship. It's not a, like a religion it's a relationship with God he comes he fills you with the spirit and you know him like daddy father he's your friend he's your provider he's your protector and the same way I pray for you and you felt that peace that calmness and the pain left you will have that in you and you'll be able to give it out to others have you ever said yes to God and yes to Jesus yes I did it's a point in life you know okay because so do you think that you would like to rededicate your life again and say you know what God I haven't been living for you the way I should have been living I want to really start living for you the way that you want me to live would you like to do that again for, for God okay close your eyes what's your name Johnny? Johnny close your eyes Johnny 
say, Jesus, I come back to you. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. And for resurrecting. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. And I thank you for having healed my chest. Having healed my chest. Show me how to walk with you. Amen. Stay with your eyes closed. I will pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for Johnny. You love him so much. You love him so much, Holy Spirit, Father God. That's why you healed his chest and you filled him with your presence. He is saved. He rededicated his life to you. Holy Spirit, fill him right now. Holy Spirit, fill him. From the top of his head, to the soles of his feet. Pour out your glory and your love strong. More, Lord. you feel there, bro? I don't know. How long do you took your hand from here? Uh, wow. I still, I still wow. feeling the, I still feeling your touch. You, know what I mean? wow. you, did, you did this on me. Yeah, I did for a bit. I still have, I still have the touch. I don't know why. Did you feel like lightheaded, like you were gonna fall a bit? Maybe I felt, your knees weak. I felt the same feeling again, bro. Like comfortable, like really relaxed. Jesus, man. I, I, I'm honest, like, like, you know, I was feeling your, your touch here, and I was like. You know, I could feel myself going backwards. Oh, you, you, know felt, I mean? you know what I mean? You felt a bit. Okay, have you seen in churches where people fall over? Have mm -hmm. you seen that? Okay, it's the power of God hits you so strong that you just fall in the spirit. So you felt a bit like you were going back a bit? Yeah, when you touch me, like... Yeah. like you know. Well, you feeling like your knees were a bit weak or something, hard to stand. Like I, felt, man, I felt like jelly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's jelly, the, yeah. That's the feeling, like... That, you know, that's like, the Holy Spirit, You just want to, like, let it go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's Jesus. So listen, when so is, go when there, is, when go is this there. happening in Fr Hackney? Friday evening, yeah. Hackney. Hackney, yeah. Hackney, yeah.